the classic Shio Wagyu Deluxe. Oh, Deluxe some more. Wow. I don't, know about, I don't know about that face, lah, but the Wagyu looks good. Lah, okay, I don't know about the face. Lah, you know? Hi guys, it's Wednesday and you're back for another episode of Can Eat or Not? My name is... Hey, sorry. Watashi wa Kami no Itasu ne. Watashi wa Agnes Dezo, so yoshiko onegashimasu. Damn the big. But, this is your favorite host MC Black right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> In this episode, we are going Japanese, but we are not trying Japanese food, we are trying Japanese ramen! Yep. Ramen, my favorite, I love noodle, everything noodle, and Japanese ramen together with the broth and the onsen egg, oh my god, so good! Yep. So today, we have three ramen restaurants, we are trying out the traditional type of ramen, okay. we are trying out dry ramen, Oh. we are also trying out some new ramen that features like the broth. Version. Okay. Okay. Can't wait to try it out. Out. Yeah. So today, I'm guessing that we'll put on a few kgs after that, lah, because it's full on carbs, you know. Uh, but not me, lah. Not me. Not me. So I guess without further ado, we have to give them a try and yerashaimase. Let's go. Eh, itadakimas. Itadakimas. Wait. Itadakimas. Ramen. Ikuzu, Kelvin. No, it's like I'm coming for you, you know. Okay. Oh my dear. Okay. That's right, right now we are in our first ramen stop. We are right now in Maruki Ramen in the Link KL, just right beside Jalan Ampang and Jalan Tun Razak. Yeah. In the heart of Kuala Lumpur City Centre. Yeah. So they have been operating for around two years already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they strive to serve healthy Japanese ramen that has no preservatives and no MSG. And they are also Muslim friendly, in which they get all their ingredients from halal suppliers. I used to travel to Japan alone. So every time I just walk to the side of the restaurant and try out those simple ramen shop, right? But yeah. oh, baby, oh. bro. So let's just see if they can bring. I can't Japan. relate, lah. I never been to Japan. Let's just see. Instead of paying like thousand five to go to Japan, <laughs> let's see if you can just pay like around forty bucks on here. You come here and get a glimpse of Japan right here at the link, right? Oh wow! Ah, strong words, right? But it's not OUG, lah. <laughs> OUG is the best name. But the parking is a bit expensive, lah. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> And also Maruki Ramen, they have their four core ingredients which are imported from Japan Which is their bonito, their shoyu, their anchovies and also their flour hey, You forget one more core ingredient What? The chef love. <laughs> I know what to say love The I'm chef say love. The chef is from Japan. <laughs> imported from Japan right? It's imported right? <laughs> So the highlights in Maruki Ramen is actually their broth. They have two types of chicken broth, the light one and also the thick one, the original, the usual one. I'm having their classic Kara Deluxe, which is their spicy miso soup. For protein-wise, I have their Australian beef slicers, their Ajitama soft boiled egg and also their glazed chicken roll. I can't wait to try it. And as for me, I'm having their superior shoyu. Basically, it's very similar to what Calvin is eating, just that my soup is the lighter soup. Yeah. It's a lighter chicken it's broth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm having the most premium one. The classic Shio Wagyu Deluxe. In front of us, we have two side dishes. They are Wagyu Gyoza. They are doing buy one free one promotion all the way until the end of December. And we are also having their Kauri Karage, the chicken. I will say this is a perfect bowl of ramen that I have ever eaten. Everything is on point. The soup, the noodle, especially, it's al dente. Wow, the texture of the noodle just wows me eh. And nonetheless, the star would be the what you beef. Oh my mm. god. The moment I put the what you beef in my mouth, it just, I just, oh, I just went, went heaven <laughs> Just now I also had a slice. Okay. It's like melts in your mouth that kind of. Really? It, it's integrates. That's yeah. all. I think the fat and the meat, the, the, the marblings, it's, it's, it, it's just awesome, you know. It's thousand percent. This is thousand percent. This is my first time having such a good piece of what you meet at. And the broth, I would say, it's balanced. Moving on to me, I would like to say, yup, solid bowl of ramen, the spicy miso soup. You get the right amount of spicy cake, but that keeps you going, you know. It's not too overly spicy. So you just find yourself keep eating it. But I want to mention is that I think their beef is the better protein here. If you come here, you must get their deluxe, which you will get additional Australian beef, beef. slices. Yes. Yeah, their beef is like really beefy. And it's not the hard kind, it's like tender. Compared with the glazed chicken roll, the beef like overshines it. I appreciate ramen. I went to Japan three times, three, two of two of the times alone. Not bragging by the way. I know. Just bragging, I always eat ramen as well. First thing I have to say, soup is very smooth. Beautiful soup. It's very well made. Japanese tanuki. Wow. Tanaka, the chef there did a very good job. 
you will feel very satisfied eating the chicken. It's very smooth, very tender. This will make you feel very satisfied. And I'm satisfied right here. Definitely urge all of you guys to come and try this uh, ramen right now. It's, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, this is really worth a try. Like people it's usually, when you think about ramen, people go ipudo, you know. But this uh, one, yeah, yeah. really, 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 I think, not to say same same level as ipudo, but I felt it's better than ipudo. Oh, actually. wow. That's and because the broth is different, uh, they're using chicken broth. Because normally ramen is using tonkatsu, tonkatsu broth. Yep. But it's as good though. It's, it's really as good. As for the side dish, I would say, well done. The Wagyu Goza, very strong beefy flavor. I love it. Right now, it's thumbs time for Maruti Ramen. I guess it's a quick one. Mm. In three, two, one, three thumbs what? up. Which means. <laughs> again, Agnes again. What happened? What you did? She like that. Ayo. Ayo. Okay, so Maroki Ramen has a total of three thumbs up, which, which means, means it is. On thumb than eight. Guys, you all have come this place. It's amazing, man. In fact, this is my first time coming here. But damn son, I'm definitely bringing my fiance here. It's really good Japan food. Eh? Every every day is your first time, man. You only stay in Oiji. No, Oiji is the best name. All right, guys. So right now we are at Pavilion. We are in Aori Ramen. All right, this place is fancy as hell. So if you guys feeling you're a little bit kaching kaching, feel free to drop by right here, now, okay? So they have been open since June 2018 and I think they're doing very well. I've also heard good reviews, so we're very excited to try their foods out. So this is a Japanese ramen from Korea. Then you like say, what? what? Japanese ramen from Korea? Relax. <laughs> Relax. They are Don Kotz ramen. They use a 1.1 millimeter Oso ramen. You know, this so is specific. Why 1.1? I don't know. You sure know. they can measure or not? Bro, like, yeah, I'm sure they measure 1.1. They're very proud. They're like, like 1, you lah. 1.1. 1.1. 1.1. 1.1. 1. 1. Ah, KM, that's what it is. Okay, but. <laughs> so, Agnes, what are you eating? I'm eating spicy mala ramen. For me, I'm having their yuzu chicken ramen, which is actually a yuzu infused broth with their aburi char siu and their nori and their memma. Yeah, so I'm expecting some savoury or tanginess from this. As for me, I'm having their aburi ramen, the standard dish with their specials. Their signature lah. So signature lah. Their signature, la. so their signature, signature la. Yeah, they also do have their classic pan fried gyoza, right? Yeah, I think it's a very important dish in all uh, ramen shop, right? So let's just see which one is able to. Let's go. Put so much. Give me. Bro, Give me. what is fear, bro? Huh? You. Okay. Trying out that special sauce. You know, see how special is it? Apparently, this one is the one that elevates the spiciness and the extra taste in the broth. You know, basically your ramen. Oh. <laughs> he needs some milk! <laughs> Chill, bro. <laughs> water, 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 water. When you eat, uh, don't suck. Uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> If you are not fond of spiciness, I think this will be a little bit too much for not you. Not too spicy lah. Not too spicy, but there are people who can't really enjoy spicy food. So this would not be something for you. But for me, because I like spicy, because it gives him the extra cake. Well, but really, again, <laughs> don't suck the thing for you. Straight attack your throat. Eh. For me, when I go to any ramen shop, I usually take the classic one. Because I like the, the softness of the soup. And I think the soup is very creamy, which I absolutely love. Noodles, very nice, very soft. But the thing that I love about this dish is that they give me those extra bits of leek. Very nice. It just gives the extra... You know when you buy there's some sort of crispiness going on on there and some extra flavour Then you pair up, yeah, the extra flavour you know And then you pair up with the chicken meat as well It's a very nice dish of ramen uh, Today the both restaurants so far has been pulling off As for my yuzu chicken ramen, I would say that it's something very refreshing and brand new to me I mean I've not eaten a lot of ramen in my life But it's actually the first time of me tasting something kind of unique in its own way So I love the addition of the yuzu infused with all the broth Like what we always say, it really cuts through the gelatinous of the, you know, the heavy hot bone or chicken bone broth of the ramen itself. Yeah, so I really like that tangy flavor from it. Yep, and the aburi char siu, not bad. Yeah, uh, it's there, the standard is there, quite on point. I mean, if you're ordering my yuzu chicken ramen, the star will be the broth. La. Yeah. Instead of the protein and the carbs, yes. the broth shines here in this mm. dish. So overall, not bad, but I love their gyoza. Yeah, I love the gyoza. I think the chicken marination is on point, and then when you pair it with the uh, ponzu sauce, mm. it's refreshing. And I also love that the skin is not too thick. And it's crispy. Yeah, it's so crispy. really well done. For me, I felt um, some heat and some miss. Mm -hmm. So the heat will be the broth, like you said. The broth is very good. And the broth somehow gives me that China hot pot spicy mala, mala, soup. Mm, yeah, the, the mala. mala. So it really got that peppercorn and all the spices that you usually can taste in a spicy mala hot pot soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so exactly the same. And the noodle, I love thin noodle. You know, thin noodle, when you soak in a broth for too long, it somehow becomes uh, soggy. 
But this one's still al dente. Mm. Yeah. The minced part, I think, will be the protein. Okay. Which is the pork char siu. I felt it's a bit dry for me. Mm -hmm. A bit dry. The flavor wise, it's a bit lackluster. Yeah. Overall, I think it's good. The broth is good. The gyoza is good. Just the protein. Yeah. Right now, comes time for Ari Ramen in Pavilion KL. In 3, 2, 1. Bang. One. Okay, so in total, Ari Ramen has two and, and a half, half thumbs up. up. Wow, it's there, it's up there. All right, guys, so right now we are at our third location, which is Mania Hanabi at Satapa. So they started their business since October 2020, and the ramen that they serve is called Maze Soba, which is a kind of dry ramen. And the recipe is originally from Nagoya, Japan, which is a capital of one of the prefecture in Japan. So they have a total of five outlets. The one I'm having is Nagoya Maze Soba, which is their signature here with torch barbecue pork and the ajitama, which is a soft boy egg and minced pork. And the one I'm having is a Turuniku with stew pork. It looks really good, man. It's like Golowa. They just bought the pork from Golowa and it's put in their for me, I'm having their roasted pork version. This is the Doniku Nagoya Maje Soba. By the way, just to give a mention also, they're also famous for their minced pork, the Nagoya minced pork. Yep, so later we, we are going to taste it and see whether how everything pairs up. So actually, there is a way to eat our Maje Soba. So okay. first, you stir everything nicely, okay? And then you can start to have like one to two bites. And after that, you have to add their homemade kelp vinegar. Oh, So wow. that you get that refreshing uh, taste of it. Okay, later you try. But when you stir it right, you can see a lot of shit are going on uh, inside the bowl. <laughs> like so many ingredients, man. You got the scallion, you got the minced pork, you got the main protein, you got the body top flakes, you got powder. Wow, so much things going on, man. Mine even got nori flakes. Garlic. Oh, you got minced garlic also. Yeah. And also nori flakes, oh my god. I want to say that dry ramen is on the more intense and impactful side. All the ingredients is like they hit you one by one, you know, when you put one mouthful in, uh, the first thing I get is that very intense and heavy bonito flavors. And their pork is definitely the star of the dish. It's like lean and fat at the same time. So it's tender, but a bit also hard because of the lean part. Okay? Yeah, a bit dry. But the plus point for the entire bowl is it's very, very flavorful. Yeah. I don't know if it's quite it's like when once you mix everything in, it's like super beef flavorful. And you might get gelat after a few bites. Yeah, that's true. So this is where this kelp vinegar comes in to like help you to ease down and balances out a bit on the gelatness. Legit no joke. I don't think I can finish an entire bowl. It's too gelat for me. Ladies out there, if you come with your friend, actually you can just order one bowl and share among yourselves. So are you a ladies so you're just gonna finish one? First of all, texture of the noodle al dente which is very good. Like what Kevin say, flavorful. And adding this is like life saver. Mm -hmm. This one really freshen up your palate. So to make you continue to savor it. I'm really trying to find thought in this dish. Because so far in all the other restaurants, there's like very less error in the cooking. But I think it's a solid piece of dry ramen. Everyone has said it's very flavorful. And the flavors has been matched and done right. They're able to match so many components to be one. And then you're still able to enjoy each of the flavor. I think that's amazing. But not to mention the protein. Hallelujah. La. Very good protein. For my pork barbecue pork, I felt the limb part is a bit dry for me. Intensity wise, out of all three restaurants we ate today, I would say this one is like the most intense one. Because uh. if you right. compare, right, other two is more easy going because the noodles is thinner and everything. Just, like a bit, yeah. It's just a simple, you got a lot of things going on, so it's a very heavy meal of ramen. At Menya Hanabi, after you finish your bowl of dry ramen, you can actually get a free bowl of rice to mix with your leftover sauce Ooh. so that you can really get a fulfilling meal here at Menya Hanabi. But I don't see any people doing that because they really that full after their ramen. No people is going to do that. Thumbs time for Menya Hanabi. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. In three, two, one. One thumbs up. One. Hey, Whoa. and it's deep one. Yeah. Oh, damn good. Oh, yeah. that's me. Okay. okay. I think for flavor, everything is on point. In total, Menya Hanabi has three thumbs up, which means it is oh. confirmed. Okay. Hey. That's it for today's episode. Three ramen restaurants. My favorite, definitely go to the first one, Maruki Ramen. Okay, even I'm not having the Wagyu ramen, right? I will still choose Maruki ramen, ramen as my favorite. Why? Because as a Hala ramen shop, I think they really nail the broth and then the noodle. I think everything is on point. This one I think I didn't mention when I'm in Maruki ramen, but yeah, their softball egg is really, really good. My favorite goes to 
it's a tough choice, but I'll pick Menya and Avila. Because, sorry, uh, no offense, preference wise, I still need my pork in my ramen. So, Menya and Avila is the way to go. Well, mine is easy because I finished the damn bowl, and my favorite goes to Aori, man. Oh, wow! Yeah. It's a three way, because three way winner. I finished it. It was very creamy, it was very easy to take in. Everything there was well cooked, it was chicken. Nice! Yeah, so there you have it, three Japanese ramen restaurants for the day. And if you are still watching until now, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and our own Instagram, Kenny or not. My. We'll see you again in the next week of Can It or Not. not. Bye. Yeah, you have to say goodbye. Lah. It's, it's raining, by the way. Sana. Sayonara. Ice Oh, Steven, that is for you. <laughs> yeah, Steven, Steven, Steven. Huh?